Major General Kerry Mullen back here. I'd like to provide a quick update regarding our Arizona National Guardsmen who were involved in the 28 January early morning drone attack in Jordan. There are no reported changes in the number of Arizona National Guard deaths. Thankfully, we remain at zero. Of the 41 reported overall injuries, the bulk were Arizona National Guardsmen. While some are continuing under observation, the majority, however, have returned to duty. Of the three Arizona National Guardsmen who were medically evacuated, one arrived to Landstuhl, Germany for further care. I was able to adjust my return home from our state partnership program event in Kazakhstan to visit the service member. And I have to tell you, meeting with this young soldier this morning here in Germany was a humbling experience, to say the least. The individual was in good spirits and clearly on a solid road to recovery. We did have a chance to talk for quite a while this morning. Uh, as part of our discussions, I asked what I could do for the soldier, and, and almost without pause, they said, just tell my fellow Bushmasters that I miss them, I love them, and to stay in the fight. So quite powerful words. Uh, towards the end of the visit, we were even able to arrange a f quick phone call between the soldier and their commander, as well as their roommate back at Tower 22. As the primary combat reserve of the United States Army and Air Force, I think the Arizona National Guard is really an agile, deployable force. Frankly, part of our history is our global response to national security. So if you'll recall, since 9-11, the men and women of the Arizona National Guard have deployed more than 12,000 times. And as a result, I think you'll find that our Arizona National Guard is combat proven and frankly battle battle tested these deployments are what we are trained to do they build our united strength they allow us to develop partnerships and really the ultimate goal is to foster global security while our service members join for various reasons there is one thing that unites them all and that is service service to the state but also service to our nation. There, there is a reason they wear that U.S. flag on the right shoulder of their uniform. This event, while it has been extremely difficult and is certainly tragic, I don't see this as discouragement to our Arizona National Guardsmen. I think quite to the contrary. They all raised their right hand. They all answered a call to serve and they are proud of that, and we are proud of them. I, I don't think duty is ever easy, but every privilege, every right that we enjoy here in the United States is simply an example of, of duty done. So these young men and women in our Arizona National Guard, frankly, I think are the best examples of what it means to be an American.